Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zentangle teacher and I also love to doodle. So in these videos, I do five videos a week and uh, we practiced drawing things. So sometimes it's Zentangle, sometimes it's just a fun pattern and other times it's a little sketch like a doodle. So I am using the April challenge from cutelittlepaper.com. And because I'm only doing five days a week, we're skipping a few of them as we go. If you would like to follow it exactly, then of course, please feel free to do that. So we are on day, what is today? The 15th? Let's see. I think it's the 15th. So ours today, because we just had the weekend, is wooden bench. What a cute prompt. I've never drawn a bench before. Okay, so I've got my little journal book here. The link to this cover is in the description of this video. And we just get to take a quick peek at all the fun things we've done so far. I love that one. And what did we just do? The nest. That was a cute one. I like that one. Okay, here we go. We are going to attempt to draw a park bench or a garden bench, whatever you want yours to be. All right, I'm going to grab my pencil and let's see, I think I'm going to start with the ground. So I'm just going to pencil in a little line there. And then we can put ink over it later. Okay, so we're going to make a wooden bench. So mine is going to be kind of like a park bench because I think of a garden bench as being more ornate and I don't have the skills to draw an ornate bench. So we're just gonna do a little wooden one as if it were in a park. So I'm gonna go up a little bit. I'm not gonna put the legs in yet. But I'm going to put in these little diagonal lines going opposite ways. And that's going to be the seat of the bench. So just sketch it in lightly with your pencil so we can change it as we go. I'm going to put a line in the center so that it is two little wooden boards. And we're just doing the basic sketch now. We can play around and make this look better as we go. Okay, I am gonna draw in my little legs, the little bench legs. And I feel like this needs to be a little bit larger. I don't know why it's feeling very small to me. Look at that, we just made it a little bit bigger. Okay, and then back here are going to be the wooden supports that hold up the back boards. So I'm gonna pencil those in lightly because when we do our ink over them, we're going to erase parts of these. So just nice and light, put in those wooden back supports and we can make them taller if we need to. But right now we'll just keep them like that. All right, and then on the back, let's put um, let's put another two boards on. So I'm going to make it smaller than the bench. I'm going to make it like this, and it's going to go above the bench. There's going to be a space in there. I'm going to put in one. and two. I think they need to go over maybe all the way to the end of the start of our bench to those little corners. That feels good to me. So essentially we've got two boards down here and there's a little bit of an angle to show the depth and then we have our two little boards up on top. Now, if you've gotten this far and yours feels too small, um, go ahead and erase it, pause the video and start over. 
We're not going to fill a lot of this space up here. We're going to do a little bit of drawing, but not a lot. So if you want this to be larger and take up more space, then go right ahead. All right, I'm going to put in some little diagonal supports down here. And then the back legs. My back legs are kind of lining up with that top little bar. Okay, so now up here, I just want to make sure that my boards stick out above that top horizontal one. So go ahead and extend yours up if you need to. Okay, let's go ahead and add some ink to this and then we'll do some more things. Okay, so I'm going to begin with these two back boards and I'm going to ink them in and I'm not going to worry about them being very straight. And on the ends, I'm actually going to purposely wiggle them. I need a different pen. I think I always grab that one pen I just don't want to throw it away until I know for sure it's not going to work. Okay, I'll grab another one. Okay, I'm going to do the second board. I've got a space in between the two of them. And then where we see that um, post behind it, I'm going to put a little bolt there and there and there and there. Okay, now for this bottom part, I'm going to make that back board there and then it's going to come out and go down there. Then I'm going to leave a little space for the next one. So I don't always trace my lines exact because I tend to change them as I go. So it's okay if you don't trace yours perfectly. And then I'm going to imagine where these two bolts would be. And same on this side kind of making them go out just like our boards do. And if you would like to make this front one have a little bit of dimension, we can drop down on both sides and give it this little front edge there. Okay, now I'm going to go back up to the top and I'm going to add these little top pieces that are sticking out. And then I'm going to jump over the board and imagine where we can see it in that background. See that right behind those boards? And you can even do some under here if you would like, like in between these two, it would be at an angle. And then we come down to the ground for that front leg. Do the two furthest front legs. Put in a little support. and that back leg. I think it looks like a bench. What do you guys think? I like it. Okay, so since I am drawing a park, not a garden, I'm going to ink in the ground, but I'm gonna add some grass, because I love to do that 
especially tall around those legs where maybe the mower didn't reach. Okay, and then over here, I'm gonna grab my pencil again. This was not part of the prompt. The prompt simply was bench, but you know I can't just stop there. So I'm going to draw a light pole. When I was looking up garden benches, park benches, bench doodles, um, a lot of them had a little light pole next to it, which I thought was such a cute little aesthetic. So we're gonna do that. So we are going to draw kind of a straight line all the way down. You just make it the size of like the pole of a light. So not, not as wide as a tree. And I'm gonna make mine go about a finger or two above the bench. Okay, and then at the bottom, I'm going to make it go wide. And then I'll be erasing that middle part. And we're gonna put in a little curve. You can zoom in a little maybe. A little curve and then just aura that. And then do one a little bit smaller. Not smaller than the width of the pole. Okay, there's our base, there's our pole. And then up here, make sure mine's kind of straight. I tend to draw at an angle and then my, my things kind of tip. Okay, so up here, let's add this little wider element. And then it's up to you how you want to draw the top of this. I think I'm going to go out a little bit at both sides. And then I'm going to go up a little taller. And put on a top that's wider than the thing we just made. Maybe this should be rounded. I guess I don't really know what light poles look like. I'm going to put a top and then a little top on top of that to add some detail. I feel like I want a round bulb here. Doesn't that look better? Yeah, that's what I want, a round bulb. Okay. And then don't some light poles have like that little thing that comes out? I don't know why they have that. But if you wanted to do that and then you could draw in maybe something ornate down here to hold it on. That'd be a cute little detail. Or you could make it go the other way if you don't want it painting, pointing towards your bench. If you don't want that, then just leave it the light pole. Okay, let's grab our pens and let's ink some of this stuff in. So I'm going to do the straight lines of my pole first. And I'm going to add in these little cute details down here and the wide base. Up here, add that little wide detail and then whatever kind of a globe you ended up going with. I'm going to do a round one. And we just need some little details on top. And then I feel like we should draw kind of a 
vintagey bulb in here. Okay. If you want to add this little arm, you can. You definitely don't have to. That looks pretty cute. All right, and then a lot of the pictures that I saw, just to give it that like image of being a park, we're gonna draw some just big bushy um, bushes, <laughs> big full bushes in the background. So I'm gonna do it in pencil to make sure I like how it looks. And um, it can go over your bench or just kind of behind your bench. But we're just gonna put in these bushes like that and if you like them go ahead and ink those in and if you want to add some little stick details just to make it look a little more like a tree or a bush back there you can All right, what do you think? I think that looks pretty cute. You could always add some little flowers sticking up. I'm going to do some more tall grass over there. Then I'm going to take my eraser. I don't have my nice kneaded eraser tonight. I just have this one. And I'm going to get rid of some of those pencil lines. I almost gave up on this one because I just wasn't really sure how to draw a bench, but I'm pretty proud of that. I think it looks great. All right, with my pencil, I'm just going to give each side of these boards a little bit of shading. And blend it out a little bit. You don't have to do this part. You could just color in your bench if you want to. And then I'm gonna add some down here on that front part because that would probably be dark. And then I'll just take my blending tool and put some underneath on those little legs that are sticking down. And on the light pole, I'm just going to put a little bit on that left-hand side of the whole thing. Just to help that look a little bit more 3D. And the bushes, I'll just put a little under each of those bumps and maybe some along the grass. Again, these are not really good shadows. They're just more giving the illusion that there is light in the photo. There are some shadows, not perfectly artistic ones, but that our stuff has some dimension to it. I'm also going to put a little bit on these back posts. Okay, there we go. There is our cute little bench. It would be adorable in a garden if you wanted to do a garden or maybe a little garden arch with some vines growing up it. But for never having drawn a bench before, I think that turned out pretty great. So thanks for joining me and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye.